Hello there. In this video, let's take a look at the best programming language to learn in 2025. Spoiler alert, there is no such language. There's no single language, which is the best programming language to learn in 2025. I'll tell you why, because the answer to this question depends. It depends on where you are in your professional life. You might be a senior developer, a programmer who has been in the industry for many years. You might be an intermediate developer or you might be a beginner for whom this video actually is for. Or you might be a hobbyist and to the senior developer and the hobbyist, the answer to the question which is the best programming language to learn in 2025 is whatever. Yeah. I'm surprised why a senior developer is watching this video. You already know the landscape, you know how to navigate it. Feel free and choose whichever programming language you want to. Same goes for the hobbyist. You're just here to have fun. Choose whichever language that you want and just have fun. May I take this opportunity to plug my favorite programming language, NIM. Just take a look at the NIM programming language in my opinion, it's the best programming language that's ever made. Take a look at it, have fun. Now, to the intermediate developer, if you're an intermediate developer, it all depends on what you want to do next. If you want to change your domain, feel free to choose uh, from this. And just like a senior developer, you might already know how to navigate the landscape. You know what to do, you know what are the concepts that have to be mastered, etc. Just go through any list. This is just a list that I made off the top of my head. Feel free to take a look at other lists and choose a programming language. But to the beginner, I have some advices and then I'll tell you which language to pick, though there is not a very defined or a clear answer for this question. So what you want to do is get a job why? If you're here for a career, if you're here for a profession in uh, IT or computer science, computer programming, you need to get a job. You need to be polished uh, in your skills so you can't remain a hobbyist forever. So you need to get a job. So the best way to choose a programming language, if that is your goal, is to find the popular language in your region. This might differ from region to region, country to country, state to state. So find that language. Go to a, a, an employment website like monster.com or some website that you that is very popular in your region. Search for junior programmer or beginner programmer roles and they will have some language mentioned there. And pick one. And I am pretty sure that that language would be one of the the list that you see here, it's either JavaScript, Python, PHP, Java, C Sharp, or C++. Pick any one from this list and I am sure that you will not go wrong. Just one, just one language. Uh, however, there are some caveats which we'll go into. Just pick one and just go with it because as you progress in your career, you will definitely look at other programming languages. You will look at it because all these are different technologies. These have their own way of talking to the computer and writing programs. So at one point, you will feel you have to embrace another way of programming and you might switch to a different language. However, it is very key that you pick one programming language now and then as you progress, you get experienced in writing different kinds of software and then you switch. So make a decision now, just pick one and learn that and write different kinds of software using that. Now coming to the caveats, coming to JavaScript, you learn JavaScript, however, there will be a pressure. I'm sorry, that, that was my cell phone. So there will be a pressure from the industry or from people that you meet within the industry to evolve or move into TypeScript, which is JavaScript, but which has uh, additional 
uh, features and functionalities you will be forced or you will feel that pressure to move to typescript at least for now more more about that later or you can find why later but just uh, a heads up you might be forced to move to typescript and also learn html and css which are not programming languages but still you will be forced to learn html and css because javascript is predominantly used in web development where you would want to make user interfaces using html css and javascript and also you will have to learn more about a javascript engine or a javascript runtime called node.js because of the popularity of these two libraries which is which is react which are react and express so if you are taking up javascript which in my opinion is a very good beginner language and also a very good ecosystem it gives you the best of a lot of worlds you can write almost 90 percent of software that is written here written now with javascript so feel free to take up javascript just a caveat that you might have to learn typescript a bit later but it's uh, not a big deal you will enjoy it um so take, feel free to take, take up javascript now coming back to uh, the other languages in the list python the most popular beginner language ever very powerful uh, used quite heavily in data science and also in web back-end development python is a very good beginner language so is php uh, which is also used heavily in web development feel free to take uh, any of the three now d e and f java c sharp and c plus plus are good languages to get you a job however there's a caveat that java c sharp and c plus plus especially c plus plus would require to require you to work really hard and take them up or take one of them only if you have sufficient time and resources at your disposal that means you can go for a long time without a job you have sufficient money to invest in buying courses and tutorials and practice then feel free to take java or c sharp or c plus plus of all these six languages i would if i were in your shoes and i go back in time and i am meeting the beginner me I would always say choose c++ get a c++ job because you'll there will there comes a time in the programmer uh, career that you will embrace soon where you would need to learn and do c++ uh, of course it's not a mandate but if you're a person who really loves who or who are, who's here because of pure passion for computer science and computing i'm sure you'll cross your path with c++ and you would want to do c++ programming so my recommended language is c++ but pick anyone if you're a beginner and your goal for now is to get a job any of the six would do however just as a bonus uh learn these as well so it's not just these programming languages that matter pick one javascript or python or php or even typescript if you want to learn typescript from now itself uh, you can start learning typescript now itself you don't have to learn javascript first and then typescript you can do that uh, so pick any of the six uh, javascript python php java c sharp or c plus plus any and depending on the resources that you have pick any of d e or f java c sharp or c plus plus then make sure that you learn these five things data structures and algorithms design patterns the command line also known as the com command line interface git and sql must learn so make sure you learn and on the side learn these i am sure you will find resources for all of this do not worry we'll maybe i'll cover them in my later videos but make sure you learn all of this along with the programming language that you have chosen so all the best so which is the best programming language to learn in 2025 is any of the six 
I th- this list has been pretty stable or pretty much the same for the last many years. So it won't change very quickly. Maybe 10 years down the lane or fi- at, le- at least five years down the lane, this list would go like this. I am almost certain. Of course, I cannot be 100% certain. There might be a big ba- paradigm shift that might happen. But you can bank on these six. So thank you for watching. See you in the next one.